Hello lovely people, you're welcome to the channel. This is Uglo Fashion. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'll be showing you how to make this waterfall jacket. You can see how lovely it is on the mannequin. So please stay tuned and enjoy the tutorial. This is the fabric I'll be making use of. It's a crepe fabric and I bought one and a half yard of this. The texture is a bit light. So first of all, I folded it into two equal parts. The length is, I think, 60 inches. So I just fold the edges together. Then I also fold into four. So just ensure that you have two folded side facing your direction like the way it is and it depends on how long you want it to be so for this particular waterfall jacket i used 25 inches so at first i measured the inches i'll be working with which is 25 inches actually you don't really need much measurement for this this style all you need is your the circumference of your shoulder so i'll be measuring the 25 inches round this way just in form of um, 360 degree peplum you know when you're cutting your circle dress or your peplum that's the same way you would do this so just measure it round then you cut it out so after cutting this is the result i have it's looking like a cone the next thing is to open it up like this Please be careful so you don't it, don't, it doesn't scatter. Then you place your tape back to the edge. You measure 10 inches. So this 10 inches actually depend on how you want the neckline to fall. If you want it to be fuller than this, you can use 13, 14, anyhow. So after measuring the 10 inches, at that point you measure the your shoulder circumference. So the one I'm working with is just 14 inches, which when divided into two will give you seven inches. So I measured the seven inches, and from that seven from that seven inches, I came down with seven inches as well. So the seven inches is just for the arm o. Then this arm o too, if you want. The ammo to be bigger than this you can use nine you can use ten depends on how the style of the waterfall jacket is so in order to ensure that the ammo is equal so i just measure the shape i have there the curve part so it's one inch so i, I after measuring the one inch on the other side i measure one inch here as well and curved it out then i went ahead to notch it so as to be able to open up and cut the arm o. Now this is the arm o. This is all you need for this waterfall jacket. You can see how easy it is. Now you can you can hem your edges. You can stitch it with bias like I did. Then for the arm o, in order to give it a good finishing, I used my bias tape to turn it inside. So that's the bias tape. I just went ahead to stitch it from the wrong side, then folded it back to the right side and stitch on it then you are good to go your jacket is ready you can see how lovely the waterfall jacket is looking 
so thank you very much for watching this video to the end please subscribe like and share bye